Let's talk about Stanley Milgram's study on obedience to authority. The electric shock experiment that was carried out in 1961 to find out if people would obey authority to the point of doing something unethical. So this study was uh, uh, conducted a half a century ago to see if people would act unethically if an authority tells them to. It wasn't that long after World War II and people were trying to figure out why did the German people obey uh, Hitler um, and commit uh, the, uh, such atrocities as the as Holocaust? And uh, uh, people were thinking, well, is it something special about the Germans? Would, would Americans do that too? And most people thought, no, Americans wouldn't do that. Stanley Milgram said, oh, I'm not too sure. Now, in the links, there's some, uh, uh, underneath the video, there are a couple videos where you can watch a modern reenactment of these uh, experiments, and I encourage you to do that. And the conclusion that we can make from the Stanley Milgram experiments, where the people were asked to give shocks to people to the po point where it appeared that they would die, the majority of people were willing to do that when a scientist asked them to do it. So the conclusion is that many, if not most people, will commit unethical acts if an authority tells them to do so, which is not very encouraging. That means people like us are likely to do very unethical things, even to the point of killing somebody if somebody asks us to do, do so. That doesn't make us any less responsible for our, our action, but there's things that go on in our mind that will justify such behavior. Now, what are some possible reasons uh, for these uh, results in the shock experiments? One is that when people don't have the expertise necessary to make a decision, they will follow leaders to make decisions for them. So in the study, the leader, the, the scientist was wearing a lab coat, looked very authoritative, um, seemed to know what he was talking about, had all kinds of scientific equipment around them, and the person that was in the experiment didn't really know what was going on, but they trusted the, the, the leader, the expert, to make a, uh, the decision for them, and that's why they were willing to go to the point of uh, seemingly kill somebody. A second possible reason for these results is that people often see themselves as responsible for carrying out other people's orders, but not for the consequences. People will say, oh, my duty is to do what I'm told to do. The consequences aren't my, uh, um, uh, my, aren't my responsibility. So we kind of wash our hands of our responsibility, saying, well, I'm just responsible for this little thing of obeying uh, uh, people, and it doesn't matter what the consequences are. I'm not responsible for them. Uh, the person that uh, uh, gave me the orders are. Now, these, this phenomena we can see in uh, organizations. An example would be a, a receptionist who is told to lie by her supervisor when the someone calls and to tell the person that the uh, um, uh, to to tell the person that calls that the receptionist supervisor is not in the office that day, uh, that that type of thing happens all the time. So the receptionist has to decide: Oh, am I going to obey my supervisor, or am I going to uh, to lie? And most times, the receptionist will will lie, and that's, that's clearly uh, unethical. Um, so that's, uh, um, in organizations, we see this type of uh, phenomena occur quite regularly. Now, another possible reason for the, uh, these results is that people tend to believe that scientists and authority figures will only ask them to do good things, even when it seems bad. So it's like we, our culture tells us to put trust in scientists and authority figures, which to a certain degree is, is very good, but that doesn't lessen our responsibility for what we actual, actually do and what the actual consequences for our behavior is. So a big takeaway from all of this is that we need to be 
skeptical. We need to reflect. We need to think through the ethical implications of what we're asked to do, what we're told to do, what we're expected to do by authority figures and experts.